What's up, Pablo 2 crew? Welcome back to the channel. It's me, Ty, here with Nick and Ryan. What's up? All right, guys. I was in the mood for some country this morning, and I ain't gonna lie. I turned on CMT, and then, you know, I just let it roll. I was watching those videos. You Jesus. Know. Some mornings, they'd be like that. So I just thought, you know what? Let's just bring country to the channel today. I was in that mood already, so <laughs> let's just roll it on to the channel. <laughs> That's why I'm bringing Brooks and Dunn. Ryan, do you know who Brooks and Dunn are? I do. You do? Oh, so heard. you've encountered them before. Yes, <laughs> yes I have. Me and Nick are definitely familiar with Brooks and Dunn. They are an American country music duo consisting of Kix Brooks and Ronnie Dunn. I like that name. I never Kix. knew Brooks' first name. Yeah, he's Kix. Kix? Like K -I -X. the cereal. Kix. Wow. <laughs> Hey, I haven't had kick cereal in a long time. Yeah, put some sugar in there, and it's, it's good. It's not, it, well, I mean, I'll eat it by itself, but... Oh. Uh, no. Really? Got nah, not Got sugar too down. plain. Palette of a two-year-old. <laughs> yeah. They are both vocalists and songwriters, founded in 1990 through the suggestion of Tim Dubois. Tim Dubois is a Nashville record producer, so... I would say he knows about country He knows music. his stuff, yeah. <laughs> All of their albums reached at least platinum or higher, except two. They had two of them that didn't reach it, but yeah. you know, still a lot of success for country, like especially that's that's oh, big yeah. time, massive. They retired in 2010, but reunited in 2015. So they are still out there touring, you know, doing some things. Reunited and it felt so good. Oh yeah! In 2019, they were inducted in the Country Music Hall of Fame. That's just too late. It should have been sooner. 2019, <laughs> come on now. The Rock and Roll Hall of Fame is that like? It seems like that's the only genre. Well, no, because Dolly Parton. Went in it, so yeah. There's a lot of people in the rock and roll that should be in there. So maybe I mean Michael Jackson's in it. Just call it the Music Hall of Fame already. <laughs> like, why is it called rock and roll? Brooks and Dunn have 11 albums, 17 CMAs, and two Grammys. And one of those Grammys is for a song we're doing today. <laughs> we are doing My Maria. Ryan, have you heard this song? Uh, it sounds familiar. I, I believe you probably have. <laughs> yeah, I know I've heard it. Nick, you've heard it. I've heard it. Um, been a while, though, right? It's been a long time. Again, like th these type of country songs that we grew up with listening to the car, um, a lot of them are on my playlist, but some of them I kind of forgot about. Yeah, yeah I agree. Uh, and I feel like this is one of those. So, I, act I mean, I've heard the song, but haven't actually sat down and listened to it like I always say, you guys. <laughs> um, yeah, it's been a long time since I've... You know, heard it. I heard it recently, and I was like, "Oh my goodness, I forgot about this song." Yeah. So, but yeah, th this is one I've heard you know a lot as a kid. So you know, songs like that, I'm aware of them because I used to hear them in growing the car. up. Yeah. But like, I've never, you know, really taken them in, and I, obviously, I haven't seen any of the videos. Yeah, and not in the headphones like either. They didn't write this song. It's actually a cover from B. W. Stevenson in 1973. I mm. never knew that. Wow. I thought that's what this was their song, wow. uh, but it's not. Their version is from the fourth studio album, Borderline, released in 1996, and it went double platinum. This song won a Grammy for Best Country Performance by a Vocal Group, and when you're talking Brooks and Dunn, you're always talking about success because this group, I'm telling you right <laughs> now, it's just a lot of success right here. So this song was very successful, so we just have to start out strong with Brooks and Dunn, My Maria. Yeah. <laughs> My Maria 
watching Breaking Bad again? What's going on here? Yeah. The scenery. <laughs> This should be Heisenberg, the, the, the drawing yeah, yeah, of Heisenberg. <laughs> uh, yeah, th- this is definitely somewhere in the Southwest. Arizona, New Mexico. Oh, yeah. It's it's one of those mm-hmm. for, for sure. sure. Man, when the video started, uh, I, I could have just listened to this ASMR. Yeah, I know. I was like, this is already good. Water running. <laughs> I'll just listen to that the whole time. Yeah. The, the wolf howling. Yeah. Like Too nice moon in the back just like, makes me want to go out west i've never been yeah way out west like that like we've been to texas uh it's, we didn't go out that far though yeah but it was we were like in the urban, city parts yeah, yeah. urban parts <laughs> urban. of texas we haven't been you know desert or anything <laughs> like that <laughs> but uh you just want to go in the desert with a horse and just ride i yeah. just i just i did something like that i just want to see that man. i thought desert didn't have water what? Yeah. So this ain't, some, really a de- this ain't really a desert. It's more of a valley. No, sure. you're thinking deserted. <laughs> what? <laughs> desert, deserted desert. Yeah. <laughs> Nothing. That's what I think of when I think of desert. <laughs> not not is, all deserts have. Is that is that how deserted formed? Was From because desert? like if you if you're desert. not not desert. <laughs> 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 We've gotten off off topic. <laughs> Des- yeah, deserted came from dessert. <laughs> <laughs> Chocolate cake, and <laughs> you're just by yourself at the buffet, nobody around you. <laughs> deserted, eating all the cake and the yeah, cobbler. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was gonna say, did deserted come from desert? Because you can get deserted in a desert. Yeah. Obviously, I, I don't know. I never really thought about that. Beautiful scenery. Like when I saw the thumbnail, I was like, we got to do the video. <laughs> oh yeah. Um, and is this Maria? Well, right I mean, here. it has to be. As soon as she pulled up, and started singing. <laughs> is this Maria? <laughs> he started singing. My Maria. Yeah. yeah. I love his twang, by the way. Yeah, yeah. He's got yeah. a good twang. Yeah, Dun- right. Dunn's voice is... Yeah. It's it's just one of a kind. You want to try his Maria? Oh, gosh. <laughs> Me. I, mean, I mean, usually... Mary. <laughs> okay, yeah. He has one of the most iconic voices in country, though. Oh, yeah. I mean, th- there's no doubt about it. When you hear his voice... You know it's him. <laughs> Nobody sounds like Dunn. And then Brooks with the, uh, the yeah, undertones. Yeah. 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 You know, when I think of them, obviously I think of their vocal harmonies first. But I also just think of their look, their their yeah. facial hair. You know what I'm yeah. saying? There's just something about their look <laughs> that um, I feel like is very unique. But, but what, what is, where is he at here, though? <laughs> like, is this some... Uh, Legs crossed? Yeah, I don't, I'm not really sure. So Some, some type of uh, church... Yeah, down there. It's very cool. But if you know where they shot this, let us know. Man, I, I forgot. Like the guitar is pretty fire. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Burn, burn, burn. That has a nice twang as well. Yeah. You know they just they just have the twang. Yeah, they got the good formula. Got the zing. I like that. Yeah. yeah. Percussion, yeah. My Maria. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. fire, yeah. And sorrow time. Sorrow. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Just my thoughts about you bring back. That's so good. My peace of mind. Oh. Gypsy lady. Hey. That's snare. You're a miracle. Yeah. Going hard back right there. You set my soul free oh, like a dead ship sailing on the sea. She is the sunlight when the skies are gray. She treats me so right, lady. Take me away.
Keep it going. Yeah. Mm, love that shot to yeah. finish that. Yeah, that's a fun one, man. Yeah. yeah. They can just keep that going. Yeah. All love day yeah. long. Mm-hmm. I'll still love it. Yeah. <laughs> And just and just like knowing I heard that as a kid so many times just adds to the nostalgic, nostalgic factor yeah. of it for sure. Um, but yeah, that's that's just an excellently uh, written song, and I'm interested to uh, find out what the cover was. Was was that a country artist that did it the first time? I don't know. B. W. Wellington. I don't know what I said. Mm. <laughs> Sounds like a blues artist, to be honest. B. W. Wellington. <laughs> B. W. Stevenson, 1973. <laughs> Beef Wellington. Beef Wellington. That's what I was thinking. Yeah. Beef Wellington. <laughs> Regardless, like it, it's ha- having not even heard the original version. Like this is um, had to be an excellent tribute. Um, mm-hmm. Man, it, his vocals are just off the chart, man. I mean, it, again, like even if you don't really know country, I feel like you just kind of know done. You, yeah. You've heard those vocals somewhere, and it looks like Brooks finally uh, he found her. Yeah. Found her at the end. Yep. His trek was worth it. There's a lot of great instrumentation in oh, this. Yeah. And I, I love the transitions. There's a uh, still guitar, a little bit of organ creeped in there. Uh, I like the percussion. Uh, guitar has a nice little, you know, licks yeah. to it. Um, harmonies, of course, are amazing. And I loved how they introduced um, a bridge and then even before coming back to the course again, they had a nice little instrumental break. Yeah. And I feel like that's just something that is missing from country nowadays. One, like real good instrumentation, mm-hmm. first and foremost, but uh, to couple that with good writing just doesn't happen anymore. So shout out to like uh, producers and everything on this one. Y'all knew what y'all were doing. So I knew this song, but I forgot about it, and I'm not going to forget about it again. No. Because it's going to be added, added to the playlist. <laughs> Great track. Yeah, this is on the playlist because I did hear it on one of my morning CMT days. So they brought it back to me, and this is just fire. Uh, I also love the background, you know, Maria, I love you. Yeah. You know, from uh, Kicks. So, you know, I'm going to always call them that now. Just Kicks. <laughs> <laughs> Done uh, Kicks. If I come back to the serial, I'm just going to think of that yeah. every time. Kicks just, and Done. Just play, kicks and just play some, yeah. And when he why he can kicks. No, but uh, this is going to play this for me. I have heard the song before, but it's like bits and parts. Like I remember the Maria part, you know, and I remember his like uh, uh, some of the verse a little bit. But like you don't, it was remember still, that guitar, it's still though. hazy though. Cause I, that's know. why I asked if it was on the radio because I was like something I've heard in the background. Yeah. You know, it was something that because you know there was a period of time that's all I listened to was country yeah. music. I'm like so. you. I heard it back in the past, and all I could really remember was the chorus. But whenever mm-hmm. I reheard it and heard that guitar, doom, 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 yeah. Doom, yeah. Doom, I'm like, oh, I don't remember this part. <laughs> as, as a kid, you just, I mean, let's just face it. As a kid, you're really just listening to the words yeah. you know, for the most part. Pretty much. You just are. Top tier voice, by the way. It's oh, on yeah. The, it's, so on the, good. it's on my top tier voices on the channel now. So Oh, yeah. Since we've done them. Yeah, there's a uh, popular radio host that actually got him to sing at his wedding. Oh, wow. Man, oh, man. That's, that's a dream right there. <laughs> yeah, and it does kind of give me... Um, Obviously, a, a Western feel. I mean, the video helps that, but I feel like the sound just yeah. sounds like that as well. You know, it just makes me want to get on horseback. <laughs> yeah, just go travel out west. And I haven't been on horseback in, since I was probably like five years old. I, do, I just feel like I just feel like I kind of abandon country like a little oh, yeah? too much as I've gotten older. Oh no, I don't forget about country. I, I mean, I was, like I said, I have songs on the playlist, but I don't know. I just. I just feel like uh, maybe I, we should revisit more of these, oh, you know, because yeah. they're you, you forget about them and they're better the next time around because you hear, you're hearing it in a different view mm-hmm. as you're older in a new light. Yeah, Brooks and Dunn, country legends. I imagine this song was uh, being karaoke all <laughs> oh, across yeah. the south. Oh yeah. yeah, how many people think got that Maria down? Uh, Not a oh, single man. one. <laughs> <laughs> not, no. not, not a single one. <laughs> not, one. <laughs> not one person got that down. Oh, yeah. no. I can imagine just like <laughs> I'm just envisioning like some bar in Georgia at, at midnight in in 1998 or something. I was in and Georgia. So, I mean, it's it, it's down, <laughs> down south. south. Oh, okay. Yeah, that I mean, you, I mean, pick your poison. I mean, any state down south. <laughs> but there, there's just some 
drunk person <laughs> singing this at midnight on karaoke. And you know how, like, the ending is a little repetitive. Mm-hmm. And I just... It's like, it gets okay, worse as it goes on. You yeah. need to get off stage, yeah, yeah. right? Now. Yeah, literally. <laughs> Don't finish the song. <laughs> but uh, but I'm going to finish the song every time I listen to it. That's right. From now on. So, fantastic. That's it, guys. Don't forget to drop a like. And as always, please tell us your views. Thanks for subscribing and hitting that bell. Peace, Peace out. out.